Growing up, all I wanted to do was be a mom. Um, when people would ask what I wanted to be when I grew up, it was a mom. <laughs> but Crystal Harris was born with a heart defect, and getting pregnant was a risky proposition. I have lived in a couple of very large cities. So I lived in Philadelphia, I lived in San Diego. Um, I actually worked at Cleveland Clinic. So at all of those hospitals that I had either worked at or had gone to as a patient, every single one of the specialists who knew my condition um, basically told me not to ever get pregnant. If I did, that would basically be my demise. Um, Crystal buried the idea of having a child until her marriage to Bryce. The couple had a difficult choice. Was pregnancy too dangerous? And he told me, he's like, it's not worth it. I love you more than the idea of being a father. So I don't want you to ever risk your, you know, your life trying to make me a father. And um, I couldn't settle with that. So the couple fostered children to fill their void. Crystal, a nurse herself, understood the medical warnings of how her heart problem could affect pregnancy. Still, she wasn't ready to accept the idea she would never have a child of her own. Her search letter to Dr. Kurt Daniels and Ohio State Wexner Medical Center's Adult Congenital Heart Disease Program. When we met Dr. Daniels that first time, just the confidence that he showed us um, and, you know, the stories that he had of a couple of other women that he had helped through pregnancies, um, that kind of made a world of difference. We left there thinking like, this could really be a possibility. Crystal and Bryce decided to give parenthood a try. After four miscarriages, Crystal was ready to give up. Then she got pregnant a fifth time. I was very scared to get excited. I didn't get excited. Uh, my entire pregnancy um, was very scary. I was scared to fall in love with this baby growing. But this baby did grow and mature. After years of waiting, baby Camden arrived early by C-section, weighing only one pound and 11 ounces. Camden was rushed to neonatal intensive care. When I woke up, I woke up in recovery. And the first thing I realized when I opened my eyes, I was like, I did it. Like, I'm alive, I didn't die, like everybody said, yes, you know. Crystal's joy was short-lived. She began to bleed internally, and after surgery, she was in a medically induced coma for 12 days. Camden, meanwhile, was in NICU for 76 days before going home. Crystal credits the team at Ohio State with saving her life and the life of baby Camden. Ohio State is unlike any other facility that I've ever been in, ever worked. Um, they <laughs> they went above and beyond. They moved hell and high water for me. Um, there was there's nobody there's nowhere else I would send anybody. <laughs> that's that's the place right there. <laughs> Camden is now a happy and thriving seven year old who loves Legos, and Crystal has the family she's always dreamed of. Everything that I went through, I would do again in a heartbeat. And I think just having. The baby that I always wanted, that's the best part of all of it. But being able to give other women in my position hope, kind of the icing on the cake. 